A man dead, his sister recovering after a deadly amount of carbon dioxide filled their home. Fire crews rushed to the home around 2.30 this afternoon. A family member showed up after the two didn't show up for a lunch date they had scheduled. We've learned in just the past few hours that 74-year-old Terry Hart was found dead inside that home. His sister, 72-year-old Joyce Porter, was found in a basement bedroom, alive but barely. WOWT 6 News' Chase Moffitt continues our coverage. Shocked. Sad. Yeah. A Northwest Omaha neighborhood street lined with fire and rescue rigs. Emergency responders inside this home responding to a call from a family member of 74-year-old Terry Hart. Hart's sister was concerned after he missed a lunch date Friday afternoon. The, there was a vehicle that was running when family members arrived. Um, uh, don't know why it was left running. It appears it may have been accidental. Uh, items were probably being unloaded from the vehicle. Um, and so, yes, it, again, it does not appear to be criminal in any way. Inside the home, in Hart's bedroom above the garage, he was found deceased by his sister. Another sister, 72-year-old Joyce Porter, was found in a basement bedroom, pulled to safety by fire and rescue crews through the walkout basement. She's being treated for carbon monoxide poisoning at Nebraska Medicine. Investigators believe the car had been running since Thursday night at 8 o'clock inside the closed garage. It is believed at this point that it is a carbon monoxide overexposure. Uh, the investigation is ongoing, but there's no signs of foul play at this time. I didn't see him this morning. I noticed his paper was laying outside, and I thought he must be gone for the night. An upsetting discovery, neighbor Karen Lindstrand explains, telling us she last saw Hart about a day ago and describes him as a good neighbor who will be missed. Really sad because I saw him every day. He usually drove away to do errands or what every day. Very quiet person, just a really nice man. And now while this investigation is currently ongoing, investigators say that first arriving or first responders, those rescue crews on scene did not hear any carbon monoxide alarms going off in the home. At this point, it is unclear or unknown if the house was equipped with any in any way, Matt.